Good evening, folks, and welcome once again. I hope you've enjoyed a wonderful Sabbath. Uh, by the time you're viewing this, I will probably be sitting up at the park uh, doing our little goodbye time for Wally Schwartz and his family. If you're not there with me, you may be at home watching this, but I'm recording a little early so that I can be there on time as we say goodbye to one of our elders at our church and his family. They'll be dearly missed, but I know they'll be a blessing where God is sending them. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, I ask that you would be with us just now. I ask that you would bless as we spend a few moments in your word and just listening to the pen of inspiration as we uh, listen and as we read. Lord, may your Holy Spirit quicken our thoughts and fill us with your presence and your spirit uh, so that we can understand and discern what you would have us to know and understand. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 6, Colossians 2 to 6 has this to say, As ye have therefore received Christ as the Lord, so walk ye in him. This means if we say we are Christ, if we've received him, we need to be walking as he walked. We need to be talking as he talked, acting the way he acted, doing the things of Jesus, not doing the things of this world. As we read a little uh, from the Pen of Inspiration, Manuscript 187, October 16, 1898, we read this. When our hearts are sanctified by the truth, they will be in unity with the heart of Christ, says the Apostle. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, Philippians 2, 5. Self is seeking self-exaltation, pressing its way into your soul. Contemplate Jesus, your Savior. Think how he humbled himself and was commander in the heavenly courts, but he laid aside his crown, he laid aside his kingly robe, and clothed his divinity with humanity, that humanity might touch humanity, and divinity may lay hold upon divinity. For the sake of fallen man, he humbled himself. You and I as well, we need to be humble like Christ was humble, not puffed up and filled with pride, but humble willing to serve no matter what is asked of us, with a smile on our face, doing the things that Jesus would have us to be doing. Reading on, it says, some, There are some who have been standing in their own light. Some have been ready to discover evil and talk of evil, but of the good they have seen in their brethren, they have not commended. Those are ready to speak and think evil of their brethren, those who are ready to speak and think evil of their brethren are hurting Christ in the person of his saints. They grieve the heart of Christ and place their own souls in jeopardy. So this is talking about us trying to weed the tares out from the wheat. Us speaking ill, speaking evil of brothers and sisters in the church. Uh, and, and when we do this, we are grieving Christ and we are speaking against his people. And she says we are putting our own souls in jeopardy. By we need to be so careful when we find fault or we point out issues in people that we are not spending all of our time looking for the ill in others because we will not be receiving of salvation in the end. Um, who of us have emptied ourselves of pride and self-esteem? Who of us are really earnest in earnest, as was Jacob, who wrestled with the angel with all energy of his being. Jacob put forth all his strength, supposing he was wrestling a lawless opponent. But the Lord put his finger with a divine touch upon him, and, re and the wrestling ceased. Jacob knew that it was the Lord. Then all broke, and he fell upon the neck of the angel and said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. It was now Jacob's turn to make terms to make the terms. And he said, I will not let thee go unless you bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, thou hast power with God and with men and hast prevailed. Jacob asked him and said, tell, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there, and Jacob called the place Peniel, for I have seen God's face, and my life is preserved. I counsel the people to seek the Lord most earnestly. So the message for today, to wrap it all up, is that we need to be seeking the Lord. And like Jacob, let us not be taken by surprise when he actually shows up. Let's not find ourselves fighting with him. 
but let's recognize him and let's receive the blessing that he wants to give us. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, I thank you that you are a God of love, a God who's given us the ability to choose. I pray that each one of us choose you and choose life. Lord, bless us this evening as we spend time uh, with our prayer partners and contemplating what has been said and let it enter our hearts and minds. Teach us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, folks, blessings and have a wonderful evening.